on today's tutorial is about network analysis. Network analysis is a hot topic, especially when we are speaking about social networks. Network analysis can be used to explore and find network or relationship between populations, between variables. This tutorial has two sections. First, I review about theory of network analysis and the second step I fit network analysis to a real data set about anxiety, depression and stress in JESP program. Then if you are interested to use and review and study network analysis, come on Amazon class. Okay, dear friends, welcome to Amazon class. Uh, I'm Dr. Shamir Zalu, PhD in Biostatistics with more than seven years experience in statistical analysis. But today's tutorial is network analysis and now I want to review theory of network analysis. In network analysis, we have two elements or components. First is node or variables or items and uh, that can be categorical, continuous or mixed. Second is edge. Edges are relationship between nodes or variables. Edges has two characteristics, weight and color. Weight of edges uh, indicate strengths of relationships, means more weight or more size of AJ indicate more strengths of relationship between two selected variables. But color, in network analysis, in default setting of JASP program, uh, edges with red color indicate indirect relationship and edges with Blue colors indicate direct relationships. But in network analysis, how we classify or clustering edges or how we add edges between variables? Network analysis uses some indices to do this. Centrality indices and clustering indices. It is better to review this. First, I review centrality indices. In JASP program, we have four centrality indices. First is betweenness. What's that? Betweenness indicates that how often a node lies on the shortest path between two other nodes. Higher values of betweenness indicate more of a bridge between Notes. Second index is closeness. Measures how close a node is to other nodes in the network. Similar to between this, higher value of closeness indicate that node can quickly affect or be affected by others. Third index is strength. Strength equal to sum of absolute age it's connected to a network. Then higher strings equal to more direct connections with strong associations. But fourth index in centrality is expected influence. Expected influence is similar to strengths, but consider whether connections are positive or negative. Higher value of Expected influence equal to more influential in affecting others positively or negatively. Okay, now I want to review clustering measures. What's that? Network analysis to cluster variables use some indices. In chance program, introduced four indexes. I want to review that. In JS program, we have four clustering measures. First is Barak, second is Onella, third is WS, and fourth is Zhang. 
in chess programming, we can categorize or classify these indices based on weight. Means that Borat, Onella, and Zhang use weight to clustering. For example, Borat uses arithmetic mean to clustering uh, as a weight, weight of, weight of uh, items of variables, and Onella uses uh, geometric mean. And Zhang is product of weights to clustering. But now uh, I want to go to second step, practical step of this tutorial. The second part of this tutorial is fit network analysis to real data sets. Then open just programs to maximize that, go to menu, 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 click on open, click on computers, click on browse, go to the uh, path that you saved your data sets, select your data sets and click on open. Just programs opens your data sets. In this tutorial, I use a data sets about a questionnaire, include 26 items with 7 items about anxiety, and 9 items about depression and 10 items about stress. If you need this data set so to uh, repeat this analysis or, uh, for example, so present a, a network analysis in your class, you can request in a comment. Okay, my data sets, uh, in addition, have a variable named group that I set a and X equal to anxiety and GEP equal to depression and SDR equal to stress. I explain about these variables in the future. But uh, to uh, do network analysis, uh, to do this, go to this menu and review and find networks, turn on networks, and then you see that network added to main menu of just pro. Then click on network, click on classic network analysis and select all of your variables or drag and drop to this place and after this you have to select your estimator the most important estimator in just programs is ebic glasso but there is some another uh, estimators for example so correlation partial correlation and MGM, but EBIC class is the most important. Then uh, turn on another menus and wait for just programs to uh, set outputs. First, the table of network analysis is the most important because uh, show that we have 26 nodes and uh, we have uh, 325 potential edges between items. From 325 edges, potential edges, we have 187 non-zero edges, means edges added to network. Non-zero edges are edges that added to networks. Here is non-zero edges. Zero edges, edges that removed from uh, networks from 325 uh, edges. This paucity is a very important criteria to, uh, to select your estimators. Okay, now it's positive for EBIC glass so equal to uh, 43%. Means that we have 43% zero edges, but 57% non-zero edges. This paucity, this paucity is desirable to be between 30 to 60 percent and this paucity near to one means that your network is uh, is very sparse but this paucity near to zero means that your network is very busy and you have hard interpretations. Another table is cluster centrality measures. Another table is uh, centrality measures per variables and clustering measures per variables and also weight matrix. 
and centrality, blood and clustering plot. But I provided a, a PDF file to explain about this uh, in devices. Now I open my PDF file with more important selections, for examples. In centrality tables, I uh, added some uh, highlight to some numbers. For example, in between this, uh, I differentiate that uh, dip2 is the most important uh, items based on between this criteria, and dip1 is the least important items based on between this. Dip2 and dip1. Based on these networks, dip2 is between of other nodes, but dip1 is far from other nodes. And also for closeness, we see that uh, similar to between this, dip2 is the most close to other nodes, but dip1 is far from other nodes. And or for example, str is far from others. Dip2 and str check another time, dip2 is close to others, but str1 is far from other nodes. And about the strengths. Dip2 is the most uh, important and the most strengths items and Dip1 is the least items about strengths. Means that uh, Dip1 uh, cannot uh, report more role uh, in this network. So, but in another table, clustering measures, we see that for Borat, ANX1 is the most important items in clustering. In clustering means that ANX5 or anxiety 5 is the most important is the most important items to uh, provide these networks. ANX5 has the most important role here. Okay, another table is weight matrix. Weight matrix is a table that reported uh, weights uh, based on uh, criteria that are used in network analysis. For example, this is a weight. This table is a correlation based. It means weight is a weight is related to correlation between variables. For example, so here we see that ANX5. Uh, with ANX4, ANX5 with ANX4 means that this edge, this edge has a near to 30% correlation with each other. And in the next sections, I want to review another estimators. For example, now maybe you have questions: Why we don't use another estimators, and why we say that EVIC Glasso is the most important? And is the most uh, useful uh, estimator also. Come on to try. Now we, with the EBIC Glasso, we have a sparsity equal to 43%. But if I choose correlations, what's that? When we use uh, correlation as estimators, JASP programs, JASP programs, Reported that sparsity equal to zero. Why? Why is sparsity reported equal to zero? Why? Because now we have a networks that it's very busy, very very busy. Why? Why it's very very busy? Because we have three hundred twenty-five non-zero edges. It means that we have all of uh, potential edges. In my networks, and we don't remove any edges from networks. This is when I select partial correlations and try to use partial correlation as estimators. Sparsity is equal to zero, similar to correlations. And but about network analysis, we see that network analysis is better than correlations. It means that we see some uh, clusters here. But now I change estimator to EVIC Glasso and I want to show the most uh, important section of uh, network analysis. Here is my 
networks okay but if you want to uh, call on if you want to set call on to every node based on questions how to do this to do this you need to go to graphical options and for example write anxiety and also anxiety wait for uh, just programs to set outputs and uh, okay and another time write depression and write stress okay now uh, okay, uh, AMX1 to AMX7 is anxiety, depression. I said depression for questions about depression, similar to this. And for the mind, and also for stress, do similar process stress, stress, and okay, stress. Okay, now finish. And wait for JASP to provide. New network. Okay, new networks. Now you see a very beautiful networks means that we have a color, different colors for every questions. For example, so green for stress and orange or yellow for anxiety and blue for stress. And now we see that depressions have one clusters, anxiety have one clusters, but stress have two clusters, two different and separate clusters. Okay, and very good. But uh, in conclusions, uh, there is some advantages and some disadvantages about network analysis. Okay, dear friends, if I want to uh, say some advantages and disadvantages of network analysis, uh, I can say that network analysis has these advantages. For example, so network analysis introduces network between variables. Second, compute uh, centrality measures. And, and third, compute clustering measures. But network analysis has some disadvantages. For example, so type of estimators can affect proposed networks. And you see that uh, when uh, we use uh, correlation as estimators, we have very, very small as positive, near to zero. And second, in JASP programs, you can add only one categorical variable to split networks. Here is a, an option that you can split networks based on a categorical variable, for example, genders. But sir, different centrality or clustering methods can be misleading. Okay, dear friends, this tutorial is over, but all modern tutorials is not over. I have a suggestion. You, you write another uh, tutorial topic. Write in the comments. For example, I want to have a tutorial about regression, about a chi-square test, about a t-test, and other statistical methods. But finally, uh, please subscribe all our YouTube channels, write your idea in comments, and like our tutorials. And until the next video, goodbye.